and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? We're all doing fantastic. Oh my goodness, it is warm. Yesterday it was like in the mid to high 60s, and today it's in the 80s. So the temperature fluctuations, I I never I'm like during this time of year, it always like drives me nuts. Like <laughs> my body can't like acclimate <laughs> properly. So like. It's not even that warm, but I like. I feel like it's so hot because yesterday I was like freezing. Anyway, um, we're gonna go thrifting today. I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. Last night we had a super fun live sale. Um, I was Friday and or Saturday night, so the live sales are every Friday and Saturday. If you guys want to join at 10 p.m. Pacific time, I'm gonna start on Whatnot as well. It's a new reselling app. I'm not leaving the YouTube live sales. I can't leave those. Those are the o that's the OG, and those are my favorite ones because I can sit and chat with you guys for as long as. I want whatnot has a little bit more constriction so we got to be a little faster which in a way is good because I can show you guys more product and faster uh, but yeah so download it um, the app down below I have a link for you guys and if you download it and you're new you're gonna receive a $10 credit to use anywhere on whatnot you don't have to buy it from me you can buy it from anyone and you get that free $10 credit which I think is awesome and for my first sales uh, I'm gonna run a lot of like dollars uh, dollar auctions that start at a dollar so if it doesn't go above 10 you're essentially getting the item for free you just have to pay for shipping and I'm also gonna have some um, items starting base price at 10 bucks so um, hopefully you guys can find a good deal on there so I'm really really excited about it and yeah so down below in the description box but anyway we're gonna go thrifting I'm really excited I don't exactly know where the day is gonna take us because I'm having a little bit of a late start it's almost 2 p.m. which is really late for me to start but I had a lot of stuff to do this morning so it's totally okay but let's go I'll see you guys over there you guys I got princess parking literally right in front let's go inside all right and let's see if we can find any bags today oh look at this the ending so clear and fun danielle little pink heart bag is this leather oh you know i think i saw this last time and it didn't have like a brand um this like look-alike birkin that's double-sided from at and agner Mm, bolsos, la chia pinaca or something. Um, Marona. This is like a cute like leather bag, but it's oh, it's coming undone. I wonder what it's from. The tag got cut out. Um, is this leather? No, this is leather. And little snake thing by gas oh my gosh it's baby Yoda how cute is that oh my gosh what a cute little backpack laughter is the best cosmetic yes from benefit love that you know what I actually have these benefit um sandals what are they they're oh they're crocs should I get this and do like a two for one special? You get the Crocs with the bag? I don't know, the bag is kind of cute. We'll, we'll consider it. There's this Disney bag right here too. It's just like a regular Disney bag. That one's $4.99. Okay, let's go through the wallets really quickly. I always see a lot of Ipsy stuff. Those are like, um, it's like a subscription service, right? Or something, or like it comes with. There's like always like five million Ipsy couches. Okay. All right, let's check out the rest of the store. There's literally a camera system. Easy grab tablet cake. A little Ruth leather pouch. This might be a yes, but there's no price on it. But I do like it. I also do like the color. I do love like a makeup pouch too. Those are interesting coasters. <gasps> Starbucks? It is Starbucks. So pretty, $1.99, but kind of has scratches all over it, so maybe no. Oh my gosh, do I need, oh my gosh, it has little legs. I need to get this, $1.99. It's not broken, is it? <gasps> Why is this like literally the, per oh no, it's broken. Strongly considering breaking my rules and not buying things that are broken. 
I feel like I could just put some gold paint on there and it'll be fine. It's so cute. Hmm. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Maybe it'll just like give me some good thrifting luck. Uh, and let's see what other mugs we can find. You know, maybe some anthropology. Oh, stop. This is anthropology. Oh my gosh. That scared me. This is the letter D in gold. Is it broken? $2.99. It still has this sticker residue underneath. Um, I do have a couple letter Ds, but I don't think I have a gold one. Let's just hold on to this and see what else we can find. Oh, here's another anthro. This is an anthro mug also. Letter M. Hmm, should I get that? <gasps> oh no, I should get it from my aunt. I have two of them whose names start with M. $1.99, okay. Oh, here's one more. Okay, I think this like is a magic unicorn mug because now I'm finding a bunch of Starbucks mugs. Italia? Bro, oh, I need to get these. Oh, something fell back there. Okay, I'm gonna need a cart for all these mugs because I'm just finding all of them. What's this? Oh, it's dark up vintage. Okay, I'm gonna grab a cart. All right, I got my cart. I noticed this really pretty face right here. I don't see a make, but it looks like, um, it looks like, uh, what's it called? Tiffany's one that I have, but I can see like some flaws in the crystal, so I don't think it is the Tiffany's one. But I have a bowl that looks exactly like this. This thing is so cool. It's chipped right here though, so definitely a no, but whoa, amazing. You guys, I'm so dead. I just found these two Tiffany Blue Hydro Flasks. They are gorgeous. I think I gotta get them. Also, what is that? Hold on. Let's put these in my cart full of mugs. Literally, I'm only buying cups today. Oh, I thought that was like a something other design. Over here, you guys, I just found a set of bags and it comes with two Tiffany bags. I always need gift bags, so this is perfect. Tiffany bags to go with my Tiffany little hydro flask. <gasps> How pretty is this for flowers? No, I don't need this. It's like plastic, but it's, it's cute. If it was maybe ceramic, I might consider getting it. But for right now, no. All right, we are in the glassware. Let's see what sort of goodies we can find over here. Also, the plates are on this side, so I'm just like surrounded by everything I love. Look at that wooden cat. It like is cool, but also looks a little haunted. I think it's those little, those empty black eyes. And also it has like that thing, in, like a third eye in the middle of its forehead that kind of is freaking me out for some reason. Um, ooh, iridescent. That's kind of fun, right? There's only one though. The other day I found these iridescent anthropology cups, but I only found two of them. And they're just like these really pretty glasses. And I'm just like, oh, I want to just order. I found actually found them that are still available on anthropology.com. And I feel like I just want to order like a set of four. A set of four is 40 bucks, which is a lot. But I mean, $10 per mug or for cup. I feel like that's almost pretty standard when you buy them at one of those stores. So I feel like it's, they're not the most awful priced cups and that there are a lot more that are more expensive. And mom really likes them. So I think I might like order a set of them and she'll be really surprised and excited to get them. But then I'd only have six and I'm like, well, I kind of want eight, so. Now I'm in a bit of a pickle. Like, do I get eight of them and spend almost a hundred dollars on um, cups? I don't know. Is that crazy? I don't know. We'll see. But at least for now, we have two, and she loves them. So that always that makes me happy. 
Oh, that is like an award for something that someone received. I'm like over here trying to see if there's anything anthropology. <gasps> How pretty is this? It's all chipped along there though, but that is fun. Okay, do we see anything here? Mmm. This is kind of fun, but no. Just imagine if that was like we say. See if we can find any more hydro flasks. What's Jank Finity? The top is interesting because it's like rounded like that. I've never seen anything like that before. No, that is. Yetis are in that shape. Yeti? No, SSMG. Uh, best Tata ever. Now I'm looking through these knickknacks, like the wood knickknacks. We literally used to have that. That little cassette holder tape thing. <gasps> and they sell these in the Philippines too. I know it says Hawaii, but they make those in the Philippines also. Wooden horse. Okay, the Roma mugs, I see one for 30, 35. Um, possibly from the same seller. Poshmark has higher selling fees. So that might be why. So that's cool. Let's check the Italy one. All right, there's one that I found and it's Poshmark 35 also. All right, I think we might be getting both. That's cool. And I'm still deciding on the two anthro mugs. I think I have to get the unicorn. Like, he was lucky. I found all this great stuff. I'll ask about the pouch and I'm getting the bags. Checking a look through the furniture really quick. This store doesn't have that big of a furniture section though, but you never know what you're gonna find. What is that? Is that like a portable grill? Cool. <gasps> Wait a minute, those drawer things are so expensive. These are from Container Store. Time out. I think I need all of these. Yes! Oh my gosh, they're so cheap. Are they broken? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm dead. There's three of them. One of them is cracked, I didn't notice, but I think I'm still gonna get it anyway. I think it's fine. I still like it, and I'm still definitely gonna be able to use them. This, the, the unicorn mug is magic. I have to buy it. It gave me so much good luck in this store today. This was like sitting inside of here. I didn't even notice when I came around the first time. Rebecca Minkoff! Yes! Yes! We're here at the OC Goodwill Boutique in Tustin. I'm super excited to take you guys into the store. It's the only one that goes by that name here in this area. So if you guys want to come check it out, tell them who Adrian sent you. This store is awesome. Uh, I'm actually parked right in front. I literally have princess parking. And I know it's 20 minute parking, but that's like normally how quick I am. I'm literally just like in and out within like 20, 30 minutes. So I'm not worried, plus this is a small store. So um, we're just going to run in really quickly and see what we can find, then head out and then go to the next store. Let's head into the store and see what we can find. Start off with like the wallets and stuff over here. Is that a Vera Bradley? It's a Vera Bradley. I don't know who makes this clutch. It's not badly made though. Guatemala. Ooh, La Mer, fancy. If there was only La Mer inside of there. Is this fossil? Oh no. No brand. Millie for Clinique. I know Millie makes handbags and clothing. Let's see what this clutch is. Uh, oh, this is Pierre Cardin. Possibly vintage. Okay, we're at the end of the line. Okay, let's check out the rest of the store. I was going straight for the handbags right there, but I got distracted by all the shiny things over here really quickly. Look at this little dog. So cute. From the dollar or the three dollar spot or whatever at Target. And Isaac Mizrahi. This is pretty. This might be like, uh, what is it called? Um, 
My brain is not, oh, Mikasa. My brain is not working. But I think that might be Mikasa. I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard with Mikasa stuff because it doesn't normally have anything uh, written on it. Just like this might also be Mikasa. But I think I'm getting pretty good at figuring what is Mikasa and what is not. But let me know if any of you guys have any tips and tricks. I'm considering getting this, but it's $12.99. But mom likes to make homemade vanilla and put them in these. That would be a really pretty one. Anyway, here are the handbags. Let's take a look before <laughs> everyone goes through them and there's like literally no more. Um, notable finds in this store. I found, oh, there's a, this is a um, B. Mikowski. I have found an authentic Chanel bag here once. It was one of the travel line bags, which is made of fabric. And I think they just thought like it was just like a whatever fakey bag or something, but got that for, I think it was $7.99 maybe. So that one was an amazing find. One of my more exciting ones. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys have found really cool recently down below in the description box. Here's a Cole Han. I always love hearing about your finds as well. Um, this one's $20. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any of these bags here. This is, oh, this is a Vince Camuto. I literally just sold a Vince Camuto very similar in this style. It's actually the same exact style, but without the little sides like this. Uh, and I think it was like a, like a taupe color that sold last night. Um, no, this one's too damaged. I don't want to deal with it. All right. All right. Um, do I need this? Why do I kind of need this? I feel like someone made it and it's fabulous. You can put a plant in there. Oh my gosh. For an idea, like, is this like absurd to buy? Because she's so cool and quirky. Mm, I'm so torn. I'm going to ask you guys on Instagram right now. P.S. The Haunted Dolls are out in full force. There's those. And then that one. Yikes. I just looked at that crystal candle holder. It's Atlantis crystal. And look how fun this guy is. I think he said two can. But he's missing the little top. Alright, there's an anthrop mug right there. That's the letter E one. And there's an A right there. Should I get him? Okay, I've been looking through like all the places and stuff. I didn't see anything. There's also like a bunch of people that were right here, so I uh, didn't really film all looking through, but I didn't really spot anything other than those anthro mugs. I found the cutest like little reusable um, meal prep things. I don't know if I should get them though. <gasps> Wait, is that from Pottery Barn? Possibly. Home goods. There is a line that looks just like that though at Pottery Barn. I did find this Nordic Wear baking piece. I'm trying to see if mom has it. I think she actually might have this one already, so I don't think I need to get it, but I'm gonna send her a photo and ask. There's this giant shell for $2.99. I think I might get this for mom to plant her plants in. Let's see what other goodies they have out here though. We got a hung jury, you guys. I guess um, I'm just gonna leave it for now. We're here in the city of Santa Ana. This is the Goodwill on Grand. If you guys want to come, check it out. It's one of my favorite stores. I love this store so much. I found some really cool stuff here. Uh, I have found designer bags. Oh, notably though, that I, that I can remember off the top of my head is I found some Gucci playing cards. I found a set of two decks and it's super duper cool. Uh, oh, and I found an Alexander McQueen bag here as well. And I think that bag like retailed for like 2,000 bucks. So amazing. I don't know if I found my lunch cap on. We have over here. I think these are all from Target. This is a fun color though. I wonder if these are for my sister. Size 6. I'll try these. Four ninety nine. Kenzie. Tahari. Oh, these are like Target bags. A lot of leather. They're playing Shakira right now. I love Shakira. This is, I thought this was almost a coach for a second, but it's not. Lotus.
All right, here's a store. There's actually, I like to start over there in the furniture section, so let's go there. Chairs, space heaters. Oh, this giant desk is still here. Oh, look at this sofa. It's like a little corner sofa. Nice. Blue. I like the legs. I wonder who makes this. I wonder if we can check underneath. Oh, it doesn't lift up. That thing weighs like 20 million pounds too, so can't lift it up, but it's okay. I don't need a corner sofa anyway. Garlic bread. Huh. Let's see if there's any cool cups in here today. I actually found a bunch of hydro flasks already today, so I'm like super excited. So you'll see that in another video. Because don't forget, I do post videos every single day. But yeah, they're, they were um, Tiffany blue color. So it was like very exciting for me. I think I'm going to keep them both. Or at least one for sure. Those are not Birkenstocks. Those are also from Target. Oh, anthropology. Okay, I have found this letter E mug in like three different stores today. This is the third store. That's crazy. How much are they asking for them here? I actually think I bought one of them or did I? Oh, these are only 99 cents. Really? Cool. Hmm. Do I get them though is the question. Yes, I know for sure I already have the letter E in this style. Oh, look how this cute this cat bowl is. Black cat. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, they're a good price though. Oh, I like that lid. I wonder where the bottom part of it is. Mm, not Le Creuset. Oh my gosh. See it, want it, buy it. <laughs> this is so cute. She has tags all over her. Why is this so cute? So they just brought out this. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my god, it's so cute. $4.99. Um, they just brought out this cart and I found this Starbucks mug. I've never seen one like this before. Is this even real? $5.99? I'm gonna check it out and see if it's worth anything, but $5.99. Okay, the mugs are not that, like, popular. No, I don't think it's that cute. TBH, so I'm not gonna get it, but... If this candle... <gasps> sold. Yes, even if it's $7.99, I'm gonna get this. They have this fake... Um... Like, Monstera. It's like a baby Monstera. Alright, I'm holding on to the candle right now. And if I find anything else that I like, I'll go ahead and buy it. Otherwise, I don't want to wait in line. So, let's see if we can find any other goodies today. These are like a melamine. Where are these from? I wish they were like a different color though. It's okay. Um, it's down here. I don't think I see anything here in the plates. Let's go over here. I think I might actually head over to um, the Goodwill in uh, Marketplace. See what they have over there. Cause I think the Goodwills are gonna close in like an hour and a half. So that might be the last one I might be able to go to. But if I'm fast, I might be able to hit up the one near that also in, I think it's also in Santa Ana off of, what's that street? Uh, Bristol, so. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna head out. Let's go to the next door. All right, we are now at the Goodwill in Santa Ana. This is Goodwill Marketplace. This is the one with the Goodwill outlet, the computer store, and then this is the regular Goodwill that we're gonna go into. I believe the outlet is still closed on Sundays, which today's the Sunday, uh, but you can always call and check, but I think they're still only open Mondays through Saturdays. Let's see what we can find inside the store today. Ooh, Memorial Day store hours. Oh, they're still open. All right, I love that. Oh, I actually have this plant. This is a ficus triangularis, but oh, this one's a fake one. 
Do we see any handbags today? Why is this like kind of cute? But I think it's leather. This from Target. Yeah, it's a Universal Threads bag. Target's bags are like honestly like kind of getting like really cute. And they make like decent dupe styles of other designer bags. Um, and actually some of their bags are leather. I don't know how like what percentage, uh, but I know for sure that they uh, did carry leather bags, like some leather bags at one point, so. Not Birkenstocks. Do we see any other, is this a coach? Oh, this is a coach. A stained coach. Hmm, maybe no. How much is this anyway? Does it have a sticker price on it? I don't see one, but I don't want to get that one. All right, I think this is going to be it for the handbags. So let's go check out the rest of the store. They have so many non broken stock Birkenstocks. These are all like Target brand Birkenstock lookalikes. But the thing is, because they have so many, uh, like, Target Birkenstocks, they often overlook actual Birkenstocks, which has happened recently. So, I have uh, been lucky enough to find actual Birkenstocks priced at the fake Birkenstock price. And they're forgetting, like, a good deal on them, because normally, like, regular Birkenstocks, they normally mark up the prices on those. But let's go check out the rest of the store. The furniture. This store sometimes gets some pretty cool furniture, so I always like to take a look. Uh, has anyone ever found a Louis Vuitton like trunk out of their store? Or like something like a Louis Vuitton or like a um, Goyard mix trunks? Let me know. That's like so cool. Carpets. I'm also looking for new chairs for the boys table in the kitchen. But I haven't found any that I liked yet and I need a set of three. So I'm still on the hunt. On each mug. That's a Target one. Look at this cute Starbucks Christmas mug. This was. It doesn't have a year on it. How cute is he? He's cold. I have found uh, quite a few Tiffany and Co. Crystal pieces in this particular location so i always try to keep a look out for any of those things but like any good crystal in general oh this is fun why do i like this this is a 9.99 it's a fun piece i like that let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing a mug sale. Like, I think that's what I really like about that Whatnot app, the reselling app that I was telling you guys about earlier. I can do, like, sales just, like, um, like, certain, like, items, like, just mugs or just shoes, stuff like that. So I think that'd be pretty cool. <gasps> okay, Starbucks or Anthro? Neither. This is Opal House. It's cute though, right? Oh, look at this elephant! <gasps> the turtle! I think I need to get the turtle. He's a planter. Is he broken though? Or is he just dirty? I honestly can't tell. I can't tell if he just missed out on the glaze or if he's dirty or if the glaze is cracking off. Okay, so I'm not getting the turtle. I put him back. 
This is cute. Emily's bowl of love. <laughs> um, the gla I know that missing glazing is just going to bother me too much. So put them back. But now I'm looking at the plates really quick. Oh my gosh. Why did I get this for my mom at another Goodwill? This is so funny. $2.99. Look at this Mikasa. Like, I like the print. It's like cool. Kind of like vintage-y looking, like from the 80s. This little leaf thing is fun too. Ooh. It has a reindeer or something on this. Um, wipe a dry cloth. I wonder where this is from. Maybe I can Google image it. I really don't need it. It has a reindeer. If it had like a different animal, like if it had like a really cute bird or something, ooh, then it would be on. I wouldn't even need to look it up. I would just buy it. Looking at the plates, there might be like Pottery Barn ones or Crate and Barrel. Those kind of plates, I always like to pick those up, especially if there's like a good set. Because then I can keep them or give them to family members or something like that. Um, I'm trying to see what brand this is, it's kind of hard to read. Anyway, there's only one and it's like yellowing, but these are the plates. The Mikasa plates that go with those like salad plates or bowls or whatever those were. Those are cute. Oh, this one's chipped. I was like, those are fun lemons. That's from Tag. Little flower plate. Tahari. This is actually really cool. I like the texture in this. This is such a cute vase. $4.99. I like the color, but I wish it was white. There's a... There, they have that at Crate and Barrel, like a very similar, similar one. No Hydro Flasks or anything like that today. Whoa, this place. Why does the Goodwill look so empty right here? It's like, everything's gone. Oh, this is such a cool work table. It's 70 bucks. Like this would be such a good table to like have to do like handbag rehabs on. This is like a black quartz, black quartz site. Oh my gosh, I can't even move this table. It weighs 8 million pounds. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting this home anyway. Plus I have nowhere to put it. This table is literally huge, but it's amazing. Where did they get all these cabinets from? That's so cool. I've never seen them have so many before. This one has fun panels. What is this thing? <gasps> Does this open? Oh, fancy. Wait, is it supposed to be like this? And then like, you put stuff in it? This is cool. Or is it supposed to be like on the floor? And then it goes up, right? Is that how it's supposed to be? Yeah, I think this is supposed to be on the floor, maybe? Interesting. I kind of like it. Yeah, and something goes right here. Oh, this little green one is cool. Key, oh, this has, there's a key at the front. <gasps> how fun! Oh, we love this. This is cool. I like the color. The color is really cool. It's like a lime green. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share because what we ended up getting today. Um, so I pretty much just ended up putting all the videos or all the places that I went to today that I thrifted at today in this video. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So let me show you guys what we ended up getting. So do you guys remember those plastic bins? Like, of course, I got all three. So they're all just right here. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys them because I ended up just putting everything inside of the bins um, that I bought and took them home with me. So the bins were $2.99 each. Uh, hold on, let me just show you guys the lightest one. The one that's easiest to carry. 
Okay, so these are all from the container store. And like they were $20 each, but I feel like these are even more expensive now. Because I feel like these aren't $20 anymore at the container store. I feel like they're more, but these are definitely older ones. Um, like I said, also, like I showed you guys in the store, like this one was damaged right, right here on the front. I honestly don't care too much about it being damaged. I feel like that's not too crazy. Um, I'm going to probably just end up trying to like glue it or something or just leaving it as is because it's still functional and these are going to be for function and not beauty and I think these are going to be perfect to store um, certain things that have like cleaning supplies for my handbag and all that goodness so very excited about these $2.99 each for three of them so even if they were $20 each for the three it would be $60 but I got the three oh I got the three for just nine dollars or no that would be 90. oh my gosh i can't do math anymore it would be 90 dollars for the three but i got them for nine dollars each so that's like 90 percent off right so fantastic pretty excited about that was it 90 percent off yeah 90 percent off right math my brain is no longer working and this is I, you know what it's all in thanks to my magical unicorn oh, and of course it's the first one that i picked out my magical unicorn mug so cute uh, the horn, though, is a little chipped, but honestly, it's part of its charm. I don't even think I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to leave it as is. It's okay. Uh, normally, I do not pick up items that have any damage like this, like, especially like mugs or ceramics or anything like that, but I will cherish him, and I am actually going to probably make coffee in this, um, after this video, so I'm pretty excited to use this, but there you go. Majestic. I love that he, the unicorn has hair right there. You guys see it? I don't know if it's kind of blown out by the camera. And the my favorite also thing is it has little stubby feet, which I think is so precious. This was a dollar and ninety nine cents. I'm gonna put them there. I'm, I am so excited. You guys don't even know. And then let me just show you all the mugs that I got because I did end up getting all of these mugs. Like a crazy mug person. I did get the letter. Um, the anthropology mug. I don't think I have this one in gold So I'll probably give this to my dad for Father's Day or something. So perfect D for dad um, This was two dollars and ninety nine cents uh, This one just needs a good cleaning. It's in pretty much perfect condition The next mug I did also end up getting the letter M anthropology mug I'm gonna give this one to one of my aunts because both of them have the letter M as their first letter of their names so this is perfect I just have to find another letter M or find one of the ones that I have extra and I give it to them for the next time I see them so aunties if you're watching this is for you one of you more you, you're, you're each gonna get one so it's okay then this is like Christmas time I love opening these things up uh, this is that Starbucks mug and this is the Roma one that's the Starbucks right there also says Starbucks right there and I love that when you drink up it says Dolce Vita the sweet life of Zach and Cody <laughs> but this was a dollar 99 as well I feel like the mugs were reasonably priced at the store they were all not 199 except for that anthropology one it was 299 but even that one was okay because I feel like sometimes when they see stuff that's like Starbucks or anthropology they mark them up to like 599 which and then last mug is my Italia, Italia Starbucks mug. And this one, again, also $1.99. These resell around like, well, like above like around $25 or more online. So I picked them up. Um, I think I'm going to end up uh, doing these in a live sale. I also am thinking about doing, I told you guys earlier, I think that I am going to be on the What's Not app and on there, they like you to kind of curate uh, items for your sale. So all the items would be kind of like in the same category. So if I was doing mugs, it would probably be like all mugs or all like dinnerware or like kitchenware. And I think that would be pretty fun. So I think I might do like a kitchenware sale or just an all mug sale because I have so many and I do have a lot of plates that are pretty fun. I do also really love like one-off plates. I do buy a lot of plates 
and have a large collection of plates that are just, I just have one. Uh, but it's just fun to eat off of different plates. I don't know, it's always, it, it just makes the experience more exciting and more fun. So I do tend to do, to buy, um, well, not as much anymore. Um, only like certain things, like certain, like, like anthropology plates. I like to collect those in different like designs and stuff. So it's all different. Oh, these are just, I went to, I, I'll just show you guys anyway, but I did go to uh, Daiso and I picked up a couple like packs of these bags that I like. They're like the fabric bags that I like to put bags in when we send them out to you. So I just got a couple of those. But, okay, let me show you. That made a strange sound. Okay, I was really excited about this, um, but I got these two guys. These are um, hydro flasks, and they are in like this Tiffany blue color. They're both the same size, they have different lids. I'm probably going to switch out the lids. Uh, you can get the lids on like Amazon, and they are not too expensive um this one still has water in it which is like kind of gross i don't even want to smell it inside um this one does have some marks on it but like i'm probably gonna get the one that has more marks on it or i'll give one to like my mom and then one to me um this one is uh, a lot less uh, damage i think most of this even might come off like uh, most of the marks i think will come off and this one is the one that has the this I'm definitely getting rid of as well. But I do have, I think I actually, is my antho, I think I have, my hydro flask is in this size. So I have this lid so I can just switch lids out. So that's not even a problem. And again, these were $4.99 each. But the cool thing is, uh, well, I got a bunch of bags and they put all the bags together. But what's awesome is that there were two Tiffany and Co paper bags that were there and I got two Tiffany blue hydro flasks. So pretty excited. It's not like an exact exact match, but it's a very very close. Even the bags are not an exact match. I think one of them kind of has like some fading to it. So very excited. So we got some Tiffany bags and then the hydro flask. Super duper cool. And we're gonna wash those hydro flasks like literally right now and I'm probably just gonna throw away the lids. Then I got, okay, then I got the little roots bag. They gave this to me for $1.99. I love the purple and I think I might do this as a giveaway or I might um, sell it for, hot mess, sell it or something. But I love it, I love roots. They make great leather products, actually. I've gotten a couple of Roots bags in the past and they are fantastic. And this is an all leather pouch. The interior is in suede. And I think this purple is just really pretty. It just says Genuine Roots. And then on the zipper pull, it says, uh, one side says Roots, the other side says Made in Canada. So, pick this guy up. This is a great size, so you can use it for so many things. Then, I found this guy, you always gotta look everywhere. Like, and I was already in the handbag section when I found this, or I already went to the handbag section, but I went to take a second look because I tend to go back to the handbags at least twice, sometimes even three times, just to check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Especially because the first time I run through the bags, I generally, I know it's weird sounding, but I, when I'm looking through, or when I'm shopping the first round through the store, I shop through the lens of the camera, if that makes sense. And that's kind of like the way I'm able to um, try and stabilize the camera and not making it go too crazy. Though, um, I, I remember I used to be like really erratic with the camera. So I feel like it's, it's helped a lot. I hope it has. Let me know what you guys think about my filmography. I know it's not the best, but I try. I try hard. But I got this beautiful Rebecca Minkoff envelope clutch in this beautiful pink color and it does have some marks on it. I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Like there's uh, a mark right there, which I might, I think I might be able to remove that. And then there's another one right there. Um, but Safiano is pretty forgiving. So I'm hoping I can clean it most uh, most of it out. It's This one was $5.99. The inside looks like 
it's pristine. I think the only marks are on the outside. And for $5.99, I thought this was a deal. This probably retailed for about, um, probably between, ugh, maybe like $125, $125, I think. Maybe it's something around there. But I think I also do have this in silver as well. And I think I might have another one. Uh, I was saving them for my sister to possibly paint something on them because I thought that would be pretty fun. But let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see another one of those videos. My sister just been, has been super busy because she has gone back to school and she's like like with the kids and all that stuff. So um, she has been um, and she's also uh, been taking or well, she hasn't been taking orders. I know she's been receiving messages still about um, possible commission. She's not taking any commissions right now, but we will let you know when she's doing or when she's accepting them again. She is still working on other ones. So she is a busy bee and there is a piece of lint. Oh my gosh, what is this? Ugh, it's a piece of tape. All right, anyway, got that. Pretty, pretty excited. This one is the last but not least. Very excited about this. Um, I was looking at the sunglass little section by the registers. And, and I have these in, I have a very similar pair to these, and I had these in a different style in the same colorway, but I can't find them right now, but I have the, I found the ones that I have in the, in a different colorway, but like, you know what I mean? Like, they're the same, but different color combo. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys these. So these are Celine sunglasses. I love Celine sunglasses so much because they're large and in charge so these are in a tortoise shell color i like them i really do and they don't like hit my cheeks as much they still kind of do but i feel like it's okay it's not as much as like other sunglasses and i like this color of the tortoise shell so and then the the ones that uh, i have that color in these also but i couldn't find them for some reason um but this is the like gray version of the ones that i have so they're very similar and i got these on all of my other like sunglasses i usually buy on like poshmark or mercari or i'll find them in like uh buy sell trade stores uh but like look at they're very 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 similar in like silhouette right like they're very similar in style um but this one has like these nose pieces, which generally help um, with me at least. So like when I smile, like my cheeks like don't hit the sunglasses because the um, the nose piece like will hold. So like this is the these are these, and then these are like very similar, right? But these are really cool. So I'm I'm. Probably gonna keep these for myself. I know um, people ask a lot about sunglasses, and whenever I find sunglasses that actually fit or are, like are super oversized, um, I have a tendency to keep them because it's really hard for me to find sunglasses that fit my head because my cranium is like really large. <laughs> also, for I tell you guys the price of the sunglasses, I think these were like two ninety nine or something like whatever that price is for the sunglasses that they have on like the display rack thing they don't normally they don't have prices on them at the um, goodwills when they're sitting there so very excited look at that ah love it so that is actually going to be the end of today's video hope you guys had fun checking out the stores with me and what i found if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to say hi down below in the comments especially you guys are new to the channel welcome i'm so happy to have you here welcome to the thrift squad tune in tomorrow but early at 7 a.m for a new video i do post videos every single day i remember the live sales are every friday and saturday at 10 p.m pacific time and don't forget to add me on whatnot as well you'll get that ten dollars um to be able to use on the app if you sign up using my link which is down below in the description box and don't forget to add me on there as well so you'll be notified when the first live sales start hopefully by the time this video goes up i would have had a couple by then and then i would have had some practice because i still at this point in the past when you see this video which will be in the future um i still haven't had a live sale yet on there but hopefully i'm gonna have one within the next few days so anyway that's the end of the video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye guys